Uh, what is going on boys and girls, my name is Orb, and I am back from PAX East and also from a Battlefield 4 event and I'm also back from being sick so it's been quite some time since I actually sat down and recorded anything at my PC for the last like two or three days when I came back from PAX I've been at the Battlefield 4 event for the you know the, re the reveal of Battlefield 4 and after that I pretty much immediately began to be sick and I think that is because of lack of sleep combined with uh, not so many vitamins because I usually I, I'm, I'm pretty good on taking my vitamins in the morning and in the evening and taking uh, all kinds of, of supplements that is, uh, that is good for your body pretty much I'm trying to uh, you know stay healthy and that is pretty much what I've been doing but during PAX obviously America has been very kind to me with their food and uh, it's 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 been very it's been very delicious let me just put it like that so not too much healthy eating going on as well as you know combine that with no vitamin intake and then combine that with coming back flying back home to sweden sleeping nothing on the plane jumping back you're jumping straight like flying from the airport or flying uh, driving straight from the airport home taking a shower and then off to battlefield 4 event so no sleep was had for like 25 uh, 25 plus hours so i was feeling Pretty much like a bag of dirty old socks. That, I think that was my description on Twitter as well. I didn't feel good at all, but yeah, now I'm back in the swing of things. So, if you're wondering about the YouTube videos or, or streams, those start coming up. A lot of people like to freak out on Twitter. Like, I don't stream for a day and people go like, Oh my god, Orb's dead. Send for help, which I appreciate that. I appreciate that you're thinking of me. Uh, but no need. Don't don't you fear. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, well, more fine now than, than a few days earlier. But yes. Everything is back to normal. Uh, let's jump into the actual commentary that I wanted to talk about. Actually, before we get into that, you know I like to do an introduction to the gameplay. Old gameplay, we're playing some Mother Warfare 3, rocking the uh, Assault package. We get 92 to 7 as our final score, so we kill a lot of people. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the gameplay. Enjoy! And now we're gonna jump into uh, the commentary, which is I want to talk about raging. I want to talk about pro players raging. I want to give my two cents on things, and also, of course, get your feedback and your opinions in the comment section below. So if you if you have an opinion, which I, I guess you do, if you agree with me or if you disagree with me, it doesn't matter. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below of what we're gonna discuss. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know why I'm why I'm suddenly talking about this. Is that during a tournament? I actually, I'm actually unsure where the tournament was held, uh, but it was called Eurogamer. It was either in the UK or in Germany. I, as I said, I'm unsure about this. Maybe I should have read up on that uh, before starting this commentary, but it doesn't really matter where it was. Uh, the point of the matter is that a uh, person video, video, a person with a video camera. I don't know if he was a official for Eurogamer or not. Uh, he recorded a lot of pro players raging at each other. So when they lost a round, they were like, Oh, you fucking lucky cunts. And when they won a round, they were like, Yeah, you guys fucking suck. Just back and forth, like just uh, taunting each other and uh, trying to get the the, the, uh, the upper, the, the, trying to get the edge on their opponents by, you know, psyching them out a bit. And that is pretty much what they did. And a lot of people on Twitter had their own opinions. And uh, people on Twitter, I mean, the, the majority of the people were pretty much, This is not a acceptable this is totally i mean i can't i can't believe this they should know better this is not professional i thought they were professional uh pretty much people were looking very negative having a very negative outlook on what, what they saw in the video so i want to give my two cents on this and um pretty much just tell you my experience with uh, competitive play overall and what i think so let's start with my two cents on this my, my, my straight off my first thoughts about this is that it's not that bad. I feel like most people that took on Twitter, they have no competitive background. They don't know what it's like when you sit down. I mean, I play Counter-Strike for so long. When you sit down, you spend hours, days, weeks, months, years practicing and trying to perfect your craft. You give everything. You give up so many things in life, whether that be hanging out with friends or partying or maybe some people even give up school or their work to be able to just really become the best they can be in a game and people can have their own opinions about oh it's just a video game why would people care it's the same like oh why would you care about a sport i mean it's if we all have different hobbies in life we all care about different things so i mean that that's i feel feel like that angle is pretty much it's a, it's a very stupid angle if you're gonna ask me but yes i play competitive counter-strike and uh, I mean, people who watch my stream now know that from time to time I, I rage. I, I, I say fuck, I say fucking, I say all kinds of bad swear words. And uh, 
I, I, I feel like my, my viewers kind of take it with a grain of salt, which I do myself. Like, when I call somebody a fucking idiot, I don't... It's pretty much just in the heat of the moment. And I feel like a lot of the things that were said in the video and that you saw were a lot of things that were said just in the heat of the moment. When so much is on the line, I believe the first place, I mean, this was a qualifier uh, for the, the Global COD Championships, which is like the first place is like something ridiculous, like $400,000. Imagine winning a tournament and getting $400,000 in winning, in prize money. That is insane. So believe that pretty much 400,000 and pretty much, well, I believe one or two spots were on the line for the, the, the COD Championships in this qualifier. So just imagine imagining playing for that amount of money. There's obviously going to be a lot of emotions flying around and you want to... I mean, I've talked this before. I've talked about this before as a strategy in Counter Strike in one of the one settings. That if you are able to taunt your opponent and if he is weak minded enough to, you know, fall for it, he's going to get upset. Like, oh, why would he call me an idiot? Why would he, oh my God, he's boasting, you know, he, he's screaming when he's winning, he's celebrating. Oh my God, this is affecting me negatively. If he doesn't understand that, you know, that is exactly the point of it, uh, then he's obviously going to play worse, meaning the other team or me. I'm gonna play better because I know that he's psyched out is psyched out about this and I can just do my thing so there's a strategy to it and there's also as I said sort of the heat of the moment action and sort of the heat of the moment uh, <laughs> swearing and, and you know cussing going on so I wouldn't take it too much to heart but on the flip side now on the flip side going away from my own perspective and my own feelings towards this I recognize that a tournament that is looking for sponsors for an event they don't want to see a video like this they don't want to see that people in my tournament that a, a tournament that I endorse have people shouting oh you fucking faggot you fucking suck like that's not that's not the best type of advertisement and the best type of publicity you want for your brand or your company or the the tournament as a whole so I absolutely see where you're coming from and I do feel like there, there is a difference between you know, trying to trying to uh, psych your opponents out by you know s screaming and celebrating when you're winning to you know calling them like really like disgusting things like really like shouting at them. And some of the people that were there, I, I believe Trout ninety one was there, and he also told like in his video of this that you know I felt like a fight was gonna break out. That was like the tension in the room was like there was a fight about to break out. People were so upset and so like into it. Uh, and I do recognize that I, 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 my, my two cents on this and my, my, my final opinions on this would pretty much be like this. I believe that tournaments and the, the admins, the, the moderate, moderators around it, they should come up with a rule set. Meaning where they can deduct points for behavior, behavior that is not, you know, unsportsmanlike. But I don't believe they should take it as far as, you know, oh, if you, if you win a round, you can't scream. Or if you can't win a round, or if you lose a round, you can't, like, oh, say fuck or something. It's a difference between expressing yourself and being really offensive. That's pretty much what I was trying to get at for, like, the last minute. There's a real difference between those two. So, I do believe that, that tournaments, uh, admins, and, and, and other people around it, they should step in a bit, but they shouldn't step in as far as, you know, policing everything that the players do. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Or do you have a completely different uh, mindset around this? Please let me know uh, in the comment section below. And as always, rate the video as you please. Add it to Ferris if you really enjoyed it. And yeah, that's going to be everything, guys. So have an incredible day. And yeah, stay safe. Later, guys. Bye.